Boom, what is up guys? Welcome to the Sweet Outdoors. I'm sorry, it's back porch edition. Let me go ahead and apologize in advance if I start coughing. I have been sick for the past four days. I've got a cough and it's I cough so bad it makes me want to throw up and I don't throw up and my body aches all over. I called in sick to work the past two days because I, I've been up all night coughing, so I, I'll be useless at work, and I don't want to get nobody else sick. So I'm at home today. I'm going to try to get you this video without dying on you. So today's video is one I'm pretty sure you guys have been waiting on. We're going to put the Glock 19 pellet pistol up against the Colt Peacemaker pellet pistol. Oh, I'm sorry, BB pistol pellet pistol and we're going to do an accuracy test we're going to set up a target we're going to step off about 10 yards all i want to do is 10 yards because really i mean we're talking pellet pistols guys i, I seriously doubt it's going to be that accurate 20 30 40 yards so there's no sense in even trying so we're going to do about a 10 anywhere between 10 15 yard test and we're going to do six shots Reason six shots, <laughs> this is a six shooter. I can't do no more than that. This one's a 15 shooter, but we're only gonna do six. That way we make it even. We're gonna put fresh CO2 cartridges in both of them and see which one is more accurate. So let me get everything set up and we'll get it started. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get everything set up. I'm about, I'm about 15 yards. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm in it. I'm somewhere between 10 and 15. Let's just put it that way. I know I'm not at 20 because my 20 spot is right back there. So I believe I'm around 13 to 15 yards. And there's the target. I will zoom you in. And I'm just gonna leave the, leave the camera set up just like this. I'm going to step to the side of the camera. I'm going to take the first six shots with the Colt Peacemaker. We'll go up. We'll see where we're hitting. And then we'll take the next six shots with the Glock. So, like I said, I've got everything set up. Let's just go ahead and have some fun. All right, I'm right beside the camera. Let's walk up here and see what we got. Let me uh, zoom this back out so it don't look so drunk. All right, let's uh, let's take this off of the mount real quick so that we can get a better idea. Okay. There's our shots. Now I'm gonna use these here to cover those up so we don't get our shots mixed up. I was aiming here, so that's not, not worse, not real bad. I'm not great with a pistol though. So let me uh, get everything set up and we'll be back. All right, we got, we got the holes covered. Now we are going to take the Glock and attempt to do the same thing. Again, standing beside the camera at about 15 yards. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now I could actually see those BBs coming out. They look like they were a little all over as well. So, let's walk up here and see what we did oh, 
okay, here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. It almost looks like the Glock is a little more accurate. Like I said, uh, you can't really trust my shooting with a pistol, but that definitely looks like the Glock might be a little more accurate. Not bad. And as a bonus, since we still have BBs in the clip, we might as well have some fun. Wasn't that fun? Let's go see what that did. That felt, that looks like a lot of them went center. Not bad. Had a little bit of fun there. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Uh, I've been wondering myself for quite a while and just haven't had a chance to really get out and test the two pistols. It is fun to shoot. It is accurate. Six shots. It is fun to shoot really accurate 15 shots a lot of fun I mean either one of these guys are fun in the backyard having some fun you know target shooting like we just did you know good safe option you know to get the kids into firearms and and safety gun safety and all that good stuff not to mention excellent for your own personal training to save your ammo nice options real fun real fun guys uh, I will be taking these out to the property and attempting to do some squirrel hunting with them. I'm going to do both of them. It'll be two separate videos on both of them, uh, as well as the Crossman F4 pellet rifle as well. So that's three videos right there you guys can look forward to. Uh, like I said, I've been sick for four days. Haven't got a chance to do anything. Been sitting here at the house. Ideas in my head on videos to bring you guys and uh, came up with that one I guess so uh, uh, Sunday was the last day of deer season for a month um, we got to wait a month before we can do any more deer hunting we can still hog hunt on a property so I will be doing that once I'm physically able and uh, I'll be going out there and doing some more hog hunting. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some squirrel hunting as well. Uh, I also have the Umarex Air Javelin that I still want to get a hog with. I was out of the property uh, last week, took it out there, sitting in the stand. Hog come in right at dark. I mean, I couldn't even, couldn't even barely see it through the sights. Took a shot and missed. You know, it was worth a shot. But that's some videos that you guys can look forward to. Um, I know it's been a, a rough couple of weeks. Well, rough for me. You guys have been wondering what's going on because I haven't posted any videos. Like I said, I've got some personal issues, some serious personal issues that I'm dealing with that I will bring you in on later. Right now is really not the time. So uh, just please excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, it will get better, guys. I promise I guarantee so do me a favor go ahead hit the like hit the subscribe hit that notification button give me that thumbs up download it and share it you know all that good stuff check us out on Facebook the sweet outdoors and right either here or here you can see my logo press that logo and you're subscribed it's that simple guys I'm not going to make it hard for you. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the delay in videos. You will you'll understand once I bring you the news of what's going on. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people.